Breaking news here on Chicago Bears Now. I'm your host, Harrison Graham. The Bears have a new head coach, and his name is Matt Eberflus. He comes over from the Indianapolis Colts. He was one of three finalists. He's been the defensive coordinator in Indianapolis. Adam Schefter first broke the news uh, on this one, saying that defensive coordinator of the Colts, Matt Eberflus, is being hired as the head coach of the Chicago Bears per sources. Now, I will admit, I'm a little bit surprised. Now, I'm not crazy surprised because he was a finalist. <laughs> he was one of the three guys uh, that the Bears were heavily considering. We didn't know if Ryan Poles, the new GM, would expand that finalist list. He obviously did not. Uh, but I'm a bit surprised because it seemed like the momentum was trending toward Dan Quinn, who is now uh, returning to the Cowboys uh, for another season. Maybe he didn't want to jump back into the head coaching game just yet. Uh, and, you know, that's his right, of course. Uh, not saying that he turned down the job. Maybe Eberflus was the top option, uh, but um, it's hard to know for sure. If we ever uh, get that information, we'll pass that along. Uh, but Eberflus was a finalist along with Dan Quinn and Jim Caldwell. And uh, this obviously happened quick. Ryan Poles was uh, hired as GM on Tuesday. So, you know, a day, day and a half after he gets the GM gig, he makes uh, the hire of Matt Eberflus, uh, who has spent the last four seasons as Colts defensive coordinator. And I want to make this point. Ryan Poles made this hire, and the three finalists were guys he uh, mentioned during the interview process before he even got the job. So this was a Ryan Poles decision. What is your one word reaction to the Bears Hiring Matt Eberflus. Let me know down in the comments. Uh, and let me know, you know, if you're angry, sad, mad. Those are all words that you can use. One word reaction to the Bears settling on Matt Eberflus. Again, uh, surprised. And that's not a good or bad, right? Um, would it have been my favorite hire? No. But do I hate it? No. I, and I said this three weeks ago when... Uh, he was on the interview list. I was like, this is a guy who's earned his way up. He was a you know linebackers coach with the Cowboys, and the Cowboys really were upset when he left for Indianapolis. They valued him a lot, and there were some in that organization that thought he could be a, the Cowboys head coach one day. He takes the Colts gig, runs that defense for four years, and they've been you know fringe top ten defense uh, uh, since he's been there, and that was an organization for years that was offensive-oriented. And in recent years, especially this past year, this was a defensive team, uh, and I think that's critical because uh, you know one thing now. The Bears' defense isn't going anywhere, and that's a good thing. Now, and we'll talk about this further later on in the video, whoever they hired as head coach, you got to get a guy that can maximize Justin Fields. So now Matt, Matt, Matt Eberflus has to get the right OC. Again, coming up, we'll talk more about that. But I think one thing that should be mentioned is that the defense – will still be good, I think. And that and, and that matters because that's one component of, uh, of a team. You can't just be good on offense and terrible on defense or vice versa. We've seen that for years, right? The Bears defense has been great and the offense has sucked. Now, got to get the offense caught up. Got to get the offense caught up. Uh, this is why you subscribe because we're breaking down Chicago Bears news and rumors faster than anybody else on the internet. We give opinions, analysis, honesty. And my honesty is that I was surprised. That's my honest reaction. Uh, but I am cautiously optimistic that this could work. Subscribe. The offseason is heating up because just because the Bears have a GM and coach in place, you still have an entire staff to fill out. you got to attack free agency, the draft. Do you trade some guys? Do you trade for some guys? A lot of stuff still to happen. Let's get to 41,000 subs ASAP. Hit that big red button and join the movement here at Bears now. Okay, let's look at the uh, defense in Indianapolis from a scoring standpoint since he's been there. Top 10 in three of the four years uh, since Eberflus has been the guy. 2019, the lone exception. Uh, but uh, I, I like what they've been able to do. And something Indianapolis has really emphasized under Eberflus is takeaways. Attack the football. Peanut punch, if you will, for you diehard Bears fans. And that's been a problem for Chicago the past two years. While the defense is still been good the takeaways haven't been there and that's an area that uh, I think will get better under Eberflus which is very very important I've also read articles and reports over the last couple of weeks that he's a great teacher he has the it factor that's why he's a strong candidate in this cycle Jacksonville was very interested uh, and look on the surface this isn't a sexy hire right it's a defensive guy who's kind of a, you know, lunch pail type of guy. It's not the flashy offensive guy, but the Bears tried that last time with Matt Nagy, and it didn't work. Maybe going in a different direction is the right move. We have to trust Ryan Poles. We have to trust Ryan Poles because he made this hire. This was not Ted Phillips. This was not George McCaskey. This was not Soup Campbell. This was Ryan Poles' decision and his decision alone. 
Did they collaborate on some of the finalists a little bit? Sure. But Ryan Pohl signed off on all three finalists, and he was given autonomy from multiple reports to expand the coaching interview list. And if he felt so confident in Matt Eberflus to hire him and not go interview a Brian Flores, not go interview a Brian Dable, then we have to at least trust that. Doesn't mean it's going to work. This could suck. Two years from now, maybe the Bears are looking for a new head coach. I don't know. But also, maybe this does work. That's true with any GM or coaching hire. It's a crapshoot most of the time. And, uh, you know, time will tell. And uh, we will find out in the next 12, 24, 36 months if this is a good hire or not. Grade the hire on the surface based on what we can know of Matt Eberflus. A, B, C, D, or F. I'm not going to give it an A. I'm not going to be super biased. This is a home run. This guy has won multiple Super Bowls. I'm not going to do that. Uh, I think it's in the B, C range because we just don't know enough. Um... First-time head coach. I don't think any first-time head coach should get an A grade of a hire because we don't know how they're going to handle the job. But I'm not going to give it a D or F either. He's a good defensive mind. He's a leader of men. Everything I've heard about is that players love him, and those things matter at the end of the day. So give me a grade, A, B, C, D, or F. Uh, let's talk about BetUS, our sportsbook partner here at Chicago Bears. Now three games left in the NFL season, championship weekend coming up, uh, and then the Super Bowl as well. Go get started, and you can bet on NBA games as well. Chatsports.com slash Bears, our awesome deal with BetUS, gets you 125% deposit bonus. Chatsports.com slash Bears, promo code Bear Down to get 125% deposit bonus. We don't have to show the jerseys, guys. We're good. Uh, w we can hook you guys up with a free jersey though we have justin fields jerseys available uh so you can get one if you follow these steps chatsports.com slash bears promo code bear down you got a deposit of minimum of a hundred dollars for you new bet us customers this jersey giveaway deal only applies for you 125 percent deposit bonus you place a bet on any game for any amount then email us jersey at chatsports.com we have some justin fields navy jerseys available you can go check those out also easy way to get started once you make your account just bet on super bowl odds chiefs heavy favorites plus 125 uh rams at plus 200 if you want to go yolo you got the Bengals at plus 900 as well uh four teams left you can bet on the championship games themselves as well chatsports.com slash bears promo code bear down to get going with bet us so matt eberflus the new head coach in chicago he beat out dan quinn he beat beat out jim caldwell who were both considered very strong candidates uh for this head coaching job and uh again ryan pulse acted quickly as uh this came about a day and a half after. He was hired Tuesday night, and uh, he made a hire Thursday morning. So uh, that is how that goes. Now, I want to talk about offense. He must have sold Ryan Poles on offense, right? You don't get this job, in my opinion, unless you have a vision for Justin Fields. Because Ryan Poles, from what I've heard, is a big Justin Fields fan. So he would not have hired a coach, I don't think, uh, that was lukewarm on Fields and didn't have a plan for him. We saw Fields play up and down in his rookie season and an awful offense, I might add, uh, at the end of the day. Uh, he was inconsistent, of course, but his vertical passing advanced analytics were very impressive. There was a, a recent number that came out where he was accurate on like 59% of his deep balls. That's a very high number for passes longer than 20 yards. We know he's a good runner. Matt Eberflus must have sold Ryan Poles on a vision for offense. And if he didn't, then I have to question polls at that point. But I got to trust that that's what happened. Got to get the right OC now. That's the next step. Got to get the right offensive coordinator for Justin Fields. That is what must happen, and hopefully that will happen. Now, Ian Rappaport in the last half hour or so did mention uh, Kevin Petulo is an offensive coordinator named to watch. He is currently the pass game coordinator uh, for the Philadelphia Eagles uh, as well. We can talk about him a little bit. Him and Matt Eberflus overlapped in Indianapolis from 2018 to 2020. Uh, has started his coaching career in 2003. And Philadelphia with a quarterback in Jalen Hurts who has some similarities to Justin Fields, but is way less polished. Fields has much more potential, especially as a passer. But they did some good things this year. So if he can come to uh, Chicago, not saying they're going to hire him, but let's say if they do, 
uh, I think he could be a guy that could uh, do some good things. So I think that's pretty interesting. Uh, we'll probably have an offensive coordinator's uh, candidates video come out soon. So uh, subscribe and stay tuned for that. Who should the Bears hire as the next offensive coordinator? Maybe Jim Caldwell still in the mix. Maybe it is Kevin Petulo. Maybe it's a Mike Kafka from Kansas City. I'll come up with the list for you guys. But if you have any names in mind, Pe Pep Hamilton perhaps, let me know who should the Bears hire as offensive coordinator. Now, I mentioned Jim Caldwell. He was a finalist along with Eberflus and Quinn. Eberflus obviously got the job. Uh, but maybe uh, Jim Caldwell becomes the offensive coordinator. Maybe the Bears really like him. If George McCaskey and Ted Phillips and Bill Polian made this hire, it would have been Jim Caldwell. That's why I wholeheartedly trust that Polian made this hire because they loved Caldwell. Because Polian sold him on it. Because Polian and Caldwell have a relationship. They crossed paths back in the day. Um, so maybe Caldwell becomes the offensive coordinator. And I wouldn't mind that because he's been a head coach. He can help Eberflus with that transition. He can run the offense. And I don't think teams are going to poach him as a head coach. He's too old. He's 67. Maybe a team would hire him next year, but I doubt it. I think you could have him for four or five years, help Fields develop into this league. You know, he retires in his early 70s. Then By then, doesn't matter who the OC is because hopefully Fields is uh, an established quarterback by that time. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I don't hate this hire. I think, uh, you know, I'm a bit surprised, like I said, but I'm not going to be the guy that jumps off a cliff. Here we go again. Matt Eberflus, he sucks. Guys, Matt Eberflus has been a hot name for a couple years now. Like, this is not – now – I obviously, going defense with the Bears is interesting, but that doesn't mean it's not going to work. Like, that does not mean it's not going to work. Matt Nagy uh, was, on the surface, considered a great hire. You just never know. You never know how these things are going to play out. What I do know is that we're going to continue to pump out videos every single day. That's why you subscribe. It's free. Daily videos, news, rumors, and a whole lot more Q&As. YouTube.com slash Bears Now. You guys have been so supportive of me and this channel and chat sports as a whole. Continue to support us. Spread the word to a friend. Let's make this the most watched Bears channel on YouTube. We're already very, very close. Help us get there. YouTube.com slash Bears Now is the link to share with a friend. But just hit that big red button and subscribe today.